Hey guys, Carl Cooper with OnTheBlack.com here to give you my New York Mets weekly update where I'll be discussing Met Player of the Month for April, the team's upcoming schedule, and a little Q&A segment. My vote for Met Player of the Month for April is Johan Santana. Santana was 3-1 with a 1.10 ERA in the month of April. Uh, he basically picked up right where he left off last September, where down the stretch he was amazing in every start for the Mets. You know, Santana could easily be 5-0 and right now, you know, if it wasn't for a Murphy drop ball and uh, a blown uh, outing by puts in the eighth inning uh, last week. You know, he could easily be 5-0. and And what's uh, so encouraging about Santana's fast start here is normally, you know, he's a slow starter in April. And, you know, he picks up as the weather warms up and, and he's, you know, the best second half pitcher in baseball. But uh, off to a great start for Santana. You know, hopefully the Mets can give him more support on offense and, and a little bit better defense behind him. But great start for Santana. And he gets my vote for player of the month of April. Next up is the Mets' upcoming schedule. Uh, I was looking at the Mets' schedule yesterday, and I was surprised to see that, you know, starting last night with the win in Philly, uh, the Mets are playing 20 games in a row here now. And, you know, that immediately uh, became a concern for me because of the Mets' starting rotation. You know, outside of Santana, no one in this staff has consistently been able to go six or seven innings. And when we have a stretch where we're going to play 20 games in a row, it's very important that, in my opinion, that the starters go deep into games and pitch well, because if not, we're going to wear out our bullpen in, in May. And that would be very unfortunate. So uh, just wanted to point that out. A little concern next 20 days. Let's see how the starters do. Maybe the Mets can get on a roll here, but it's really going to be dependent on how well these starters do, how, how deep they go into games and how that bullpen is used over the next 20 days. Now it's time for a little Q&A segment where you guys send in some questions and I take a shot at answering them. The first question comes from T Strong Mets 20 and he asks what what do you think the Mets will do with Oliver Perez if he gets lit up against the Phillies? Do you think he'll go to the pen or be sent down? And if he's sent down, who will be called up? Well, first you know, let's hope that Perez pitches well against the Phillies. Perez normally does pitch well against the Phillies. This is one of the reasons why in the offseason I personally wanted the Mets to bring back Perez because he's a lefty. He pitches well against the Phillies and, you know, he can minimize, you know, bats like Howard and Utley. Uh, obviously, Perez hasn't gotten off to a good start so far, but hopefully he can turn it around. Now, if, if I'm the Mets and if I'm Jerry Manuel, here's what I do. I let Perez make his next two starts because it looks like his next two starts will be against the Phillies, a team that, you know, he does pitch well against. So I think there's a comfort zone for Perez there. So I give him the next two starts before I make any any decisions here. But if he doesn't do well in those next two starts, I don't think I'd send him to the bullpen. I think I'd actually send him down to the minors and then I bring up Nelson Figueroa. Um, to fill in at his spot. You know, Figueroa uh, is a veteran. You know, he pitched already one game for the Mets when Pelfrey had to miss a start. Uh, you know, he can get you through some games. And, you know, he, he's a good guy to have in the bullpen if you, you know, need him later on in the season in the pen as well, too. But, you know, if, if you got to send Perez down so that he can work out whatever issues he's got, I bring up Figueroa. I don't think putting Perez in the pen makes sense because, if he's not pitching well, he's not pitching well. So whether he's a starter or coming out of the Mets bullpen, he's going to be ineffective either way. So I'd send him down and, and let him work out what he needs to work out. And I'd bring up Nelson Figueroa. But let's hope Perez pitches well today. And then we you know don't have to talk about sending him down or sending him to the minors. The next question comes from uh, Ronnie's Mets blog. And Ronnie asks... Uh, what was Manuel thinking putting Castro in the ninth for Santos against the Marlins? I love Santos, but Castro had two hits. Uh, so Ronnie's Mets blogs, I think most Mets fans and the media agree with you that, you know, that move 
that Manuel made uh, the last out in the game in game three against uh, Florida where he took Castro out and called Santos who was actually in the bullpen and had to come uh, scampering back to the dugout to pinch hit. I, I think most people will agree that that was a bad move. Uh, you know, not only because, you know, Castro was in the game and already had a couple of hits, but, you know, Santos was in the bullpen and, you know, he, he wasn't warming up or doing anything like that with a bat in his hand. Uh, and to have him come up and to put him in a tough spot like that, I, I just think it did not make sense. And, um, you know, I think Manuel's excuse was or reasoning was that, that Santos has a much shorter compact swing so he thought he had a better chance of of getting a hit than Castro did but you know I, I just I disagree with that to bring in uh, Santos like that put him in a very tough spot and let's also remember I don't think Castro was too happy about that you know Castro is your backup catcher you know unless the plans are to keep Santos here and, and to do something with Castro when Schneider comes back now you've pretty much ticked off your backup catcher who, you know, I heard during the Santos at bat went back into the clubhouse and didn't even watch. So, you know, Manuel's got to, you know, think about those things as well, too. But definitely it was not a good move to uh, to bat Santos for Castro there. Um, so hopefully, uh, you know, uh, Manuel won't make those types of decisions anymore where he's going to call in someone from the bullpen last minute to come up to at bat. And the third and final question comes from... Mets fan 575 who asks, I want to know your opinion on firing Jerry Manuel. Well, I don't think that, uh, you know, barring sort of a complete utter collapse and team being looking terrible and embarrassing on the field, I don't think Manuel is going to get fired at any point during the season if the Mets are doing bad. You know, first, let's hope that the Mets do good and we don't even have to talk about this, but you know, considering the Mets fired uh, Willie Randolph midseason last year, I don't see them doing the same thing to Jerry Manuel this year, you know, doing that two two seasons in a row. Now, the Mets actually turned their season around after Manuel, I mean, excuse me, after Randolph was fired, but you know, it's kind of difficult to fire, you know, managers in back-to-back -back seasons in, in the middle of the season. So I, I think you'll see Manuel at least get the whole season here, you know, and then if the Mets don't make the playoffs or underachieve, then maybe you'll see something in the off season. But I don't think that that's going to happen. You know, I'm, you know, uh, a Jerry Manuel supporter. I will say that, uh, you know, I didn't like Willie Randolph. Uh, I was glad that he was gone. I was glad that Manuel was given the, the job. Uh, now, Manuel's made some questionable moves here early in the season, namely the pinch hitting uh, for Castro with Santos. But at the same time, you know, it's not Manuel's fault that Oliver Perez can't find a strike zone. You know, it's not Manuel's fault that John Main can't hold the lead. It's not Manuel's fault that the Mets are not hitting with runners in scoring position. So let's not put everything. I mean, you know, one of the first things that we all like to do is, is blame the manager for everything. And obviously the manager is easier to replace than the players are. But let's look at the, the big picture here, you know. The Mets have to start playing good baseball on the field, period. That, that's not Jerry Manuel's fault. Now, some of the decisions that he makes sometimes are questionable, but hitting with runners in scoring position, you know, David Wright struggling, uh, Daniel Murphy not catching a pop-up, you know, uh, the pitchers, the starting pitchers outside of Johan Santana not being able to go six or seven innings, those are not Jerry Manuel's fault. So the players have to start playing a little bit better. So that's it for this week, guys, with my Mets weekly update. Let me know your thoughts on Johan Santana, Player of the Month for April, the Mets' upcoming schedule, and the little Q&A segment that I did, my, my answers there. Let me know what you think. Talk to you guys soon.